up with the idea of creating a web application by create, by mashing up two other, by combining two other web applications. The classic example is, um, say, making a real estate map by adding real estate listings to Google Maps. Um, and in that way, we're taking the novels we have on hand and novelists' readers' advisory database to kind of turn this into a service and turn the library um, to add the missing integration between those two, to turn the library really into a reader's cen reading center and a reader's center. Um, and in that way, I think we can add a great deal of value to library services. And I want you to think of Novelcat as more like um, story time than, say, the EBSCO host database. And I'm just going to finish up by showing you um, a feature I've added to the library hack site that I'd really like um, some impact input from you guys. Um, it's called User Voice, and you can get to it from Hack Requests. It's a service um, provide, it was an initially provided for um, product online applications where you can add suggestions and such. Um, and what I was hoping this can kind of become a form is for you guys to kind of input what sort of hacks are needed, where are you running into problems, and, um, and then you, you're allowed to vote on them. And kind of come up with these ways where these hacks, because what I'm doing is I'm really looking for ideas where are these other places for practices, Firefox extensions, and that sort of thing that can be developed and really improve library services. And with that, I will turn it over to Des. Anybody have any questions for Patrick Christian? Short ones? If I Google wild hacks because I am sorry, wasn't writing fast enough. It's just wildhacks.info. Info. And I, after I, the session, we'll have a link up on the annual network page so that oh. you can get to that site. Okay. So. I'm sorry. No. Okay. I'm Des. I'm the State Library. I send out thousands of emails. So you must <laughs> at least for me. Um, Patrick and I actually, uh, this, this presentation was sort of born out of a conversation that we started having. He sent me an email saying, hey, I was thinking about this, can we do this? And those emails just kind of continued and grew, and pretty soon um, we realized that this was some really good stuff that, that we should probably share with the rest of you and get some more ideas. And um, we, you know, it, it went from emails to um, sharing some Google Docs to work on the presentation to chat. <laughs> this, yeah, it's not easy for me to do chat because, you know, I never know when my phone's going to ring and stuff. But, um, and Patrick and I actually never met until like 7.45 this morning. So <laughs> we haven't even talked on the phone. We've done all of this. Um, so, uh, you know, it's been, it's been kind of an interesting process. But I, just like Marcy doing a presentation last year on Director Station, I think it's really important for us to um, encourage you, the users of the system and all various services, to, to realize that you can also share stuff with other people. It doesn't have to always just be state library staff presenting at the Wild Network meeting. A lot of you have really great ideas and we want to hear them and we want you to share that with, with everybody. So, you know, never be afraid to ask if something's possible because it might be something we're already working on or it might be something we never thought of and um, we might be interested in exploring that. Um, as for um, the future of IP Store, we learned a lot this spring at the uh, Cersei Dynex user conference. Up until that point, we had been led to believe that the path to um, the future with the public interface in Cersei Dynex world was the product they called EPS, which was a portal, enterprise portal system. Every time we'd have a problem report like, when are you going to fix the thing so that we can have a call number on hit list, please? Um, they would say, well, that's fixed in EPS. 